If you use samples in your tracks, you're a bad producer. Or at least that's what some elitists say. Sampling's been done since the beginning of modern music. Hell, even Bach, Handel, and Mozart did it. They used to take old songs that they liked, reorchestrated, and reworked a piece. Some were just basically covers, but others were completely different, but used like musical passages in the song in a different context, which is basically what sampling is. But we're not really talking about sampling of a passage. We're talking about samples. Moreover, if using samples makes you a bad producer. But first, we have to figure out what a producer is. So if you Google record producer, you get sort of an outdated explanation of what producers were just a few years back, when producers were similar to what a movie producer still is. Someone who creates and directs the final output of the band or musician that they're producing. But now, a producer encompasses everything. Producer writes, creates, mixes, masters, and a lot also make their own art and video content for their projects. So the definition of producer in the modern time is rapidly changing. While this is the new normal, there's still some old school producers that exist, but the definition of record producer is shifting more towards a musician who utilizes a DAW for a majority, if not all of their music. With modern producers having to wear so many hats, it's obvious that there has to be a better way, a faster way to make the art that they wanna make without having to fiddle around with the sounds that they wanna use. After all, how modern a song sounds is heavily dependent on the sounds and instruments the song uses. So for example, if you want a modern sound, you'd probably use a guitar over like a medieval loot. In the end, samples are a great way to speed up your workflow, similar to using a template in your DAW to get you one step closer to creating faster without really having to think about the technical side of things too much. But there is a dark side to using samples that I'm gonna talk about. If you're trying to make music production your profession, knowing how to make the sounds you're using is an invaluable skill to have. Say you're making dubstep or drum and bass or I don't know, any sort of sound design heavy genre, you're most likely gonna wanna be able to make the sound you're thinking of if you can't find a sample similar enough to the thing you have in your head. So an over-reliance on samples is a fast way to stagnate your creativity. I think if you have like an idea of a song, but you can't find sounds that sound like what you're thinking of in your head, then you're just stuck. Right? But if you knew a little bit of sound design, you'd be able to get around that block and just continue on. Yeah, it may take a little bit longer and you'd have to spend a little bit of time creating that sound, but you don't have to rely on finding a sample to get your point across. I think using samples is totally one of the best ways to make music that you're proud of faster. If you've already taken the path to get to your destination before, you might as well take a shortcut, right? But don't rely on the shortcut because it may not always be there when you need it. So use samples when you can, but also make sure that you're developing skills to be able to make the sounds that you want to make if you can't find a sample. So does using samples make you a bad producer? No, not at all. <laughs>